Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and we're gonna be checking out Can I Come in Your House by Mickey Flanagan. Guys, please continue to leave your comments below. All our videos are based off your comments. If you are subscribed, we check those out first. We also have a Patreon if you can afford to donate to it. That's all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That is all I can ask for. Guys, I'm in such a good mood. Cause so far, that's three videos that haven't been blocked. So that's awesome. Um, I think I'll probably just jinx myself this video for <laughs> the other day was nothing but blocks and technical difficulties so i'm in a pretty good move man this is going it's going pretty good it's going good so far all right so let's hop into this let's just do it let's do it i'm actually starting to see why people they why you see so many people just across the internet react to the same stuff and you want to like why don't they check out something? everybody seems to be looking at the same thing i think it's people just play it safe because they get tired of their stuff getting blocked or whatever you know so but I don't like playing it safe. I'm just going to keep on trying. All right, let's do this. Well, I do kind of like playing it safe. When it comes to strikes, I play it safe. <laughs> now, when it, when it comes to, like, blocks, I just delete and move on. And in the 80s, in the 80s, I also went to America a lot. Now, because we went to America as Brits because nothing worked here. Everything was a bit shit. And we thought, oh, go to America. Freddie Laker, bosh, 75 quid, gone. <laughs> America's a nice place to visit. The accent can cause problems. I went to New York City. 1981. In New York, they call their ass the ass. <laughs> Where I come from, we call our house ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> took a girl out for the evening. We had an amazing night. Of course, we did. I'm a very interesting man, <laughs> not just a stunner. <laughs> On the way home, I stopped. I said, "Listen, when we get back." What are the chances of me coming in your ass? <laughs> now, this was 1981, it wasn't as popular back then. I know you kids are pushing on with the anal now. Oh, no. Animals. She said, oh my God, you wanna come in my ass? I said, no, no, don't worry, I wanna try and kiss you. Just let me come in your ass, love. I won't make a mess. I'll be in and out before you know. Are you out or were you out? It was still funny. Doesn't matter. I saw so I saw it. A, it was a while. I can't remember. I think maybe three, four months ago. And people like, because it was like the three minute, two minute clip or something like that. And people said, I missed the first portion. Well, it looks like they just put this first portion up. So I'm glad I got to see the whole thing. And I got into like, you know, that's what happened to me. Laughter's contagious. So once you get into the role of it, you get into like that goofy mood. Even if you heard something before, it's still funny. Um, there's some comedians that just have that, that effect though. When I've um, reacted to something on here. And then I'll watch it again and show like a buddy and I'm still dying laughing and he's not even blinking. Like, this isn't that funny. I'm like, Jesus, how do you not think this is funny? Uh, but yeah, I always enjoy Mickey. There's no point to even say that I enjoy it. This is hilarious. The whole house and ass thing and the confusing with the words, like how they say, <laughs> you say house. Oh, shit. Just let me, <laughs> let me come in your house. I won't make a mess. Oh, let me come in your ass. Oh, my God. Uh, this dude's a freaking genius. This is fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even get my words together. This is fantastic. Like I said, even though I heard the like the little hair bit before, it was like two minutes long, it was like a three minute long clip. Uh, still, all the hilarity leading up to it and then hearing it in combination was like a new experience. So it's still fantastic. This dude is freaking hilarious. He's fantastic. And I said this before, he's right about like a, a lot of people really can't take jokes. A lot of people, um, I'm not sure what it is, but a lot of people kind of walk around with their heart on their sleeve kind of thing. I was that way when I was really, really young. But being a big kid my entire life, you had to get thick, thicker skin. And I got thick skin, and I always would, like, you know, joke back. It's called, like, like you know, playing a does is making fun of each other and all that jazz. And um, that is a different thing here in America. Like, you have to, um, people talk shit about other people. They freaking do. Um, but you'll usually have somebody who's like, who's not down for it, so it can kind of shut the whole thing down. Or if you are, like, if you're in agreement to, like, joke back and forth with each other, um, sometimes a group of my friends will be all, like, messing with each other. But whenever it's, like, 
somebody else in the mix or like work colleagues, there's always somebody who gets butt hurt, who just does not want to joke. They don't think it's funny. They feel like you're laying it to them too much. Because you know that's what happens when you're making fun of each other. Sometimes you'll feed off the other person's joke. So say if I'm making fun of, I don't know, my buddy Garen, and then I say something funny and Tay tags on something funny to what I said that was funny towards Garen. And then somebody tags on what Tay says. Now it feels like you're attacking that person. And if you don't have, like, thick skin, some people get really, like, you know, hurt. Other people, somebody like my buddy Garen, would just come back with even harder comebacks on all three of us. And every so often you have somebody in the group who just can't take it, man. So everybody's different. Like, they, they feel like they're being ganged up on. They don't want to do it anymore. They don't think it's funny. And there's usually people who can't, what do you call they're not good with, like, you know, comebacks. They're not good with, like, you know, poking fun of each other and all that type of jazz. And those are usually the people who, whose jokes are actually mean. You know what I mean? Usually the jokes you tell with each other are, like, you know, are good, but they'll say something super intense just because they're mad. Like, well, at least my f- father didn't die of a drug overdose. Like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Well, you know that person's sensitive to that type of that, That's, like, that's that intense stuff when people are really bad at jokes. I actually had that happen when I was at, uh, in college, I didn't know anything about, like, um, the person, but somebody actually said that, like, at least my dad didn't die from a drug overdose. doors, my mom isn't a piece of shit, I'm like, yo, yo, how did this get this far, we're just making jokes with each other, put that girl stuff on blast, but yeah, man, so yeah, he's right, a lot of people just can't, like, <laughs> you have somebody correcting you, it's fantastic, this whole thing was funny, I enjoyed it, um, I'm in a fantastic mood, because I haven't been dealing with blocks, and technical difficulties today. As you guys can see, I still don't have thumbnails yet because I'm still going through and reinstalling all my software and stuff and haven't got around to Photoshop yet. I was installing everything else, my video editing software and stuff since the old computer crash. All right, guys, that is all for this one. I'm hoping that you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.